Hello everyone, it's Patricia and today I'm bringing to you a Scentsy haul and it's split into two parts. I decided to do a bring back my bar haul because I did have a local customer that wanted some bars and I wanted to pick up some for myself. Then Scentsy went and pulled a 180 and threw in the extension on the bring back my bar haul because originally I thought well I'll just order bring back my bars then I won't put a lot in my Scentsy club. Now they've got me thinking and I'm adding more. Until the 15th you can add bring back my bars into your Scentsy Club. So anyway, anyway, let's get on to the haul. So what I did was I took it all out of the box. So there's one local customer to me that needed a six pack of bars. A lot of my local customers are kind of more into the current sense. They actually don't have a long history with Scentsy and so they don't really have ones that are retiring and coming back. But I do have one customer that has a certain fragrance that she loves. So I picked her up her six pack and also three bars for my daughter and it was my daughter's favorite scent from the Bring Back My Bar. And I will show you, give you a little sneak preview. Nine bars of Blueberry Rush. So six are for a customer, three are for my daughter. Now this one's a very, it's got blueberries, cranberries, I think pomegranate and currant. Black currant, I think. I get, I get a lot of currant and the blueberry as well. It's not my favorite, but it is my daughter's favorite. So two cubes at a time with three bars that'll last us quite a while. Another one I picked up was Sea Salt Mist. This one kind of took me by surprise, but I really enjoyed it. It's like a, ni a nice mild sea fragrance with a little bit of floral and a little bit of perfume characteristic and, and slight sweetness, which is why I like it. I'm not a big into salty sea, sea air scents, but I do like this one quite a bit. So I picked up a bar. Another one I picked up for my daughter was a wild watermelon. Vibrant green. Woo! <laughs> it smells like hubba bubba watermelon gum. And it smells exactly like those first few crunches down on the gum and it's like so intense and vibrant. That's what it smells like. Not like after it's been in your mouth for a while and loses its flavor. But yeah, that's, that's a strong one, more strong to me in the packaging and then once you put in the warmer it doesn't seem quite as intense but yeah it's a good one my lad drum and scent the vanilla suede i picked up two of these this does well in my open concept area it's like a masculine deep uh like sandalwood suede cedarwood kind of vibe to it um but it it, it does flirt with um like not being super masculine so that's i think why i like it Oh man, it's good. And what I thought this might be nice to mix with sheer leather. Um, sheer leather to me is a tiny bit more perfumey, almost like the female version of Vanilla Suede. It is different, but I do really like um, sheer leather. So this is really, really nice. I picked up two bars. Another brown wax. I picked up two bars of Central Park Pralines. This one also does well in my open concept area. Woo, it's strong, it's deep, it's rich, roasted pecans. It has almost that hint of when you caramelize sugar and you take it almost to the edge and it's almost burnt. That's what I get. It still smells great, by the way. I don't get an overly sweet caramel with this like some people do. My nose picks up more of a rich, deep, sophisticated, deep scent. And it's kind of a heavier scent. So keep that in mind, more like a fall and winter. This one here is one of the ones that took me by surprise. It is two bars of French Kiss. I really, really like this one. Mm, it's like got the fig, coconut milk, and it's got like caramel, but it doesn't smell like caramel. It smells like a sophisticated, sugary fig with an exotic twist. It reminds me a little tiny bit of Silhouette, like a tiny little bit of that Silhouette's creeping into that sugary fig note. It's so, so good. About a medium intensity, but I actually decided to put this one in my Scentsy Club. So for me, French Kiss is SCW, which stands for Scentsy Club Worthy. And to wrap this up, we have the beautiful orangey wax of Cashmere. Now, sometimes you think cashmere, you think it's going to smell like a cotton or a linen smell. To me, it's a very clean, almost like a soapiness. 
bit of a vibrant smell. Does well, lasts a long time in my opinion, or a fairly long time if my memory serves me correct. Um, cashmere, I decided I wanted at least one backup of that, and I really, really like that. So yes, you have until the 15th to add in your Scentsy Club. So I actually have a second order I'm merging. This is my early February order. So stay tuned and I will be adding that in one moment. Hello everyone, it's another day and I just received my early February order. Now, this order came late last night from UPS. When I say late, I mean almost seven o'clock p.m. I was at the rink, my husband was home and I usually sign up to get emails saying when my order is delivered. And no email, no email. So I messaged my husband and he's like, no, it's not here. And he said, try not to be so impatient. It'll probably come tomorrow. And I'm like, wait, no, it's coming today. <laughs> it says it's coming today. Yeah. My husband did talk to the UPS driver. I guess it was a really rough day in the UPS land. Anyway, the order is here. Now, what happened was I tried to film it. It was such a glare I had to stop. And so we're gonna just refilm because I did open the warmer. So let me just tell you, this order is all for me. And if you're a consultant, what I would suggest is setting up an online party and you can be the host and encourage any of your uh, customers, if they're shopping, they can shop from your party if they don't need to shop from another party. Because what that allows you to do is when you close that party, you can add supplies into that order and then you don't have to pay shipping on the supplies. So if you're any of my customers that have ordered online from me, I'd like to thank you because you helped me save on shipping. Everyone loves that. So basically, I always like to start with the warmers if I have any, so let's start. I have one warmer. And if you know me at all, you know that I truly, truly love wax. I like to be a little bit more responsible when it comes to the warmers. So I usually don't go crazy, but I do go crazy with the wax. But February and August are great months to kind of pick up a warmer that you've been eyeing because it's 10% off. And I think we all deserve a little treat. That's what I like to do. I like to treat myself on transition month. So my son has a glass mini warmer in his room and I just find it's not very strong. It doesn't throw the, the wax very strong. So we've been eyeing this warmer and I decided to pick it up and I'll show you what it is. It is Colors of the Rainbow. And Colors of the Rainbow comes in two parts because it is a lampshade warmer. So you'll see this one says cement base, broad, so I've already taken it out and I'm going to show you the warmer. So here we have it not turned on. So I'm just going to lift this part up. So here we have the base with the 25 watt bulb. Then this just sits on. And it, let me tell you, this is heavy, heavy. Like it weighs a lot. <laughs> and then this part was kind of separate, all wrapped up really securely. And that just nestles into the top. And these are all little glass uh, colored beads and they're all put in kind of like with a mortar. Isn't it nice? So let's turn it on so you can see. Ready? Woo! Look at that. I'm so pleased and the quality is outstanding. So yes, I think this is going to do great. His room is just going to be pumping out with wax. It's going to be great. He's been looking forward to this. He keeps asking for his new warmer. He's seven, so he's gonna be excited. So let's go into the rest of the haul. So I'm not really gonna show you the catalogs and the brochures. I mean, I also have testers. So if you're new to my channel on Tester Tuesday, we are soon gonna be starting to warm the brand new catalog scents, and you get to go over and vote. So if it's Tuesday when you're watching this, make sure you go over to that video and vote, but yeah. So also included not some very exciting supplies, but bulbs. I encourage you, if you are a customer, to go and make sure you have one backup bulb of every warmer type that you have. Because you don't want to be without your warmers, you want them all in operation. Okay, let's see what else we have. I picked up, as consultants we can pick up the Scentsy Oil Sample Kit. So what I'm going to do is a separate video on this. It's always hard to open. I feel like an idiot because I can't open them. But there's seven oils, so I'm going to do up a separate video. It'll be a short one. And in case you're someone that doesn't need to hear about the oils, you can kind of just skip over that video. But yes, we're going to sniff them out and go over the scent notes. So look forward to that in the next few days. I'll just leave it. 
Okay, I picked up a sugar body cream. I'm trying to pick up non-wax items so I don't go overboard with the wax, and I really, really love sugar. I just finished up my other sugar today. So this one basically is lemon drops and cotton candy. I highly suggest picking up body cream, and you can actually use it on your hands. I usually don't bother with the hand cream. I actually just use the body cream everywhere, and I love it. It's very moisturizing, but it doesn't feel greasy. And it's nice and thick, so you can really control where you apply it. I absolutely love the body cream. Okay, what else do we have? I have two dryer discs. I picked up Gogo Mango and Amazon Rain. And I have some washer whisks and laundry liquid, so I, I just wanted to pick up the corresponding dryer discs. I picked up a travel tin in Honey Pear Cider. So on Tester Tuesday this week, which features Summer Holiday and Camu Camu, I actually have a Camu Camu travel tin that I'm going to try. So I'm going to try this one because I absolutely love honey pear cider. It's a wonderful fall scent. And I'm going to try Camu Camu and just kind of give you guys some feedback about the travel tins over the next few months and let you know how they do. And just in general, I'm always trying to work on content for videos, but sometimes research is involved. So that's kind of my research. I have to try them out and then I'll get back to you. Okay, sadly, retiring will no longer be available come March 1st is Honeymoon Hideaway Counter Clean. Honeymoon Hideaway is not retiring, but they're not gonna be making it in the Counter Clean fragrance, and I really like this one. I think I might have one other, but I may pick up another backup one, we'll see. Okay, now this is funny. <laughs> so I went to World Tour, and I was sitting next to a lady, and she was a director. And I thought to myself, I gotta ask. So I said to her, I'm sorry to bother you, but you smell terrific. Is it, are you wearing Scentsy? Like, do you mind me asking what you're, you're wearing? And she said, well, it's kind of funny. She said, I don't really, I am wearing a Scentsy product, but it's not designed to be used in the way I'm using it. So then I was really intrigued. And what she actually does is she actually sprays herself with vanilla mint. She sprays it in the air and then kind of walks into it and it all gets on her. And I'm, I'm telling you, she smelled delicious. And I didn't pick it up for that reason, and I doubt I'm going to do that. And I don't advise you to do that because there are oils. Uh, it could stain your clothes. It could stain things. If you split, spray it too close to like wood or a dash, it can stain. And always make sure you shake it well before spraying. But yeah, she smelled so, so good. And speaking of clothes, these are my Zumba clothes. I'll, I'll be going to Zumba soon, so ignore <laughs> my flashy outfit. But yeah, funny. And I have yet to finish... A room spray they are such a great value okay what else do we have okay this is a little bit embarrassing my evil twin Margaret that's my middle name Margaret she went and picked up two bricks she didn't need any but she picked up two blue Christmas bricks I don't know what got into her she must have blacked out <laughs> this is such a nice scent oh it's like a a fir Christmas tree. I guess there's orange, clove, and cinnamon, but I do not pick up any clove or cinnamon really per se. If you are a cinnamon sensitive and you have smelled this scent, I want you to tell me if you can pick up on the cinnamon because people that are sensitive to a scent can usually find it in the scent. So please comment below if you can detect cinnamon in the scent, but I honestly can't. To me, it's like a fresh, clean, slightly soapy masculine with a tree. I love it. And with the amount of bricks I have, I feel like I can build a house soon. <laughs> Okay, and we are almost done. So I can't pick up an order without picking up a six pack of ours. I just don't think I can do it. Who can say no during a sale month? Not this girl. Okay, so we have two Pink Haze. Pink Haze is one of the retiring fragrances. It's got berries, nectarines, whipped cream, and I think it's marshmallow fondant. And marshmallow fondant is, or fondant in general, if you're not familiar with it, it, they roll it out and they cover like cakes or wedding cakes. It makes that smooth, perfect appearance. Um, so that's fondant. But this is a really nice, youthful, girly, feminine, sweet, creamy scent. It's a very, very nice. I really like pink haze. Recently, I finished up a bar of Peppermint Rush, which was from last year. So I picked up this year's version, which is Peppermint, uh, excuse me, Perfect Peppermint. And it's white wax with red. It's very pretty. Yeah, and this is just peppermint. I just needed, sometimes I want to mix things and I want to have a peppermint on hand. 
more more so when winter rolls around but I just figured I'd put it in my six pack I have another pink wax I've talked about this one I really really like love and happiness and love and happiness should be given the award for the scent that doesn't really smell at all what the scent description says it's going to smell like so it says something to the effect of chestnuts and vanilla and sugar that kind of thing yeah I don't know I get like a hazy creamy musky perfumey yummy scent maybe I can pick up chestnuts and vanilla I don't know I just love it I do love it and it does make me happy great name okay this is a bar I've never tried before it's a pretty blue wax kind of similar to blue Christmas so that's a size difference in brick versus bar in case you're wondering and the thickness but this one is a masculine scent and I thought well let's give it a try I've never tried mystery man so I'm really looking forward to this Mmm, it smells clean. I can smell like bergamot, and I feel like it's got lime. I'll look it up. Uh, maybe it's got verbena, um, but yes, I'll look up and put the scent notes here on the bottom. Mystery Man is really nice. And speaking of verbena, I picked up a suggestion of one of my subscribers and a good friend of mine, Izzy Lizzie, lemon verbena to mix with Happy Birthday. So lemon verbena is a nice clean citrus scent. It's got lemon kefir lime and verbena so it's very fresh and vibrant and strong it's very strong it's not my favorite type of scent but I am trying to branch out and I am going to be mixing this to try to make a lemon meringue pie kind of scent so mixing it with happy birthday and I'll give that a try but it's great for when you want your house to smell nice and fresh and clean and vibrant yeah you can't go wrong so that is it now I'm really eager to know do you take the same approach as me with regards to warmers? Are you picking up a special warmer this month so you can get it at 10% off? If you are treating yourself to that special warmer that you like, please comment below which warmer it is because I'm always eager to know. It doesn't have to be one that's retiring. But anyway, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. Hopefully between the two hauls you get some information out of this video. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here. As always, I'd like to wish you a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care and I will see you in the next video.